Hello, I'm Sean Holly. We're coming to you today from Boston Whaler headquarters here in Edgewater, Florida. The purpose of this video today is to show you how to properly use your shore power cords in the AC electrical system. Depending on how your boat is equipped, you would have either one or two shore power cords and connections. In this video, we're dealing with a 420 outrage, so in this case, you would have two shore power cords and connections. We recommend that you ensure all electrical breakers are off and the contact points on your cord and boat are clean and dry before making any connections. Electrical breakers would be located on the shore power tower at the dock, under the starboard cockpit gunnel, and in the AC electrical main distribution panel in the cabin. Once you ensure that all breakers are off, you can then make connection to the dock supplied power source with the male end of the cord. You will want to ensure that you line up the prongs on the cord to the correct slots on the receptacle and make sure to push the plug all the way in and then twist the plug to the right to completely engage the cord to the receptacle. Once the male end of the cord is secured into the dock supplied power source, you can now make connection to the shore power inlet on the boat with the female end of the cord following the same process that we just did for the other end of the cord. The next step is to energize the dock shore power supply by turning on the breaker located in the tower. Once this is done, you can turn on the shore power breakers on the boat, which are located under the starboard cockpit gunnel. This boat is equipped with ELCIs, which are equipment leakage circuit interrupters. These are designed to protect people from line to ground shock hazards, which may occur from misused or neglected electrical equipment you will want to test that these are functioning properly. To do this, you would press the test button located under the starboard cockpit gunnel. If it is functioning properly, the indicator light will change from green to red and the circuit breaker will trip. If the ELCI or breaker does not trip, then do not use the shore power system and make an appointment with your local Boston Whaler authorized service provider to determine what the issue could be. To reset the ELCI after a successful test, you simply press the reset button and the indicator light will change back from red to green. At this point, you will need to manually flip the circuit breaker back on. Now we can go to the AC electrical MDP panel and turn on the MDP main shore power breaker. You will see the voltage indicator display either 120 volt or 240 volt depending on your boat model. In the 420 outrage, it'll be 120 volt. At this point, it is now safe to turn on any of the specific equipment breakers that you may want to use at this time, such as your battery charger and water heater. Keeping in mind that systems like your air conditioning require the related seacock to be open. It is okay to leave your boat plugged in to shore power for prolonged periods of time. You will just want to make sure that you check on the components that are being operated periodically. Once you are finished using the shore power system, you will need to de-energize the system in a reverse order from the power up process starting with turning off any components that are being powered by the system, then by turning off the individual line item breakers, followed by the main distribution panel breakers, and the under gunnel breakers, and then finally the shore power tower breakers. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any other questions related to this process, please contact your local Boston Whaler authorized service provider and visit our website, bostonwhaler.com.